Hey guys, it's Running Kimono, and even before we talk about the new wonderful items found at the Dollar Tree, we are going to talk very quickly about the Fetch Rewards app. Want a $3 gift card to Target? Yes, please, and thank you so much. It's super easy for new signups only to the Fetch Rewards app. You basically photograph a receipt. It could be anything, a pack of gum from last week. Submit it with my referral code. It's right down there at the bottom. D8HKR and you'll be given 3,000 points and right at 3,000 points you can get a gift card. Target is one of the stores. You also have Amazon and Panera. I mean the hits keep coming. Really easy app to use. Very user intuitive. My favorite of all the money saving apps for couponers. All the information will be linked in the notes if you're interested and today is the last day which is Tuesday March the 26th. Okay guys, so let's dive right into this. What is new at the Dollar Tree? There are some new items and there's also some really great items that you can pair with coupons to make things free or very, very cheap. And the first item that we're gonna talk about are these two packs of the Airbon. Uh, this coupon is from the Smart Source of February the 24th. So if you might have it in your coupon folder or binder, um, it would essentially make these guys for free. Um, just to let you guys know, um, the coupon beep for me, but I have the sneakiest suspicion that the cashier didn't process it correctly. And um, she just basically said that I had to get the item that looked like the photo. And even though the verbiage of the coupon is different and I was really nice and I said, okay. And I just moved it along. I have seen a lot of ladies haul this over on Instagram. So it might actually have to be keyed in, but for myself, it, it beeped. But if you want to give it a try and you're not too shy, uh, this might be a freebie for you. Next complete freebie, and I have done this deal before in the past. It is with the Sasso Earth Blends, the eight ounce bottles. And from this weekend's uh, Smart Source, there's a dollar off coupon. Uh, it's either going to be a 75 center or a buck off. And basically, uh, go to the store, pick that up, use the coupon. It'll either be a quarter or free. I did this the last time those coupons were out, and I got a whole bunch of these hand soaps for free over at the good old Dollar Tree. So, um, you know, uh, I know that a lot of us. Um, if you don't have the money to go do the Walgreens deal, this is an alternative if you have these coupons to get really cheap hand soap over at the Dollar Tree. And in my humble opinion, I think paying a quarter or less, I mean, free is ideally the cost that we want to pay for hand soap. That is a stock up price. Anything more than that, wait, because we can always find a cheaper deal every couple of weeks at one of the stores for hand soap. Now we have the Scott's four pack and uh, there was a coupon in the March 10th insert. It's a 50 center off of a horror pack. There's also a dollar coupon, but that's for the larger packs. So I'm um, using that. This theoretically should be 50 cents for four rolls of the toilet paper. Now that coupon does in fact beep. And I've heard a lot of people complain saying, oh, it beeps. But if your store will push it through, not a problem. Another complaint I've heard about these packs is they are itty bitty, very tiny. Um, so just be mindful of that if you think this is a good deal. Um, by all means, pull the trigger. But they are teeny tiny um, four packs. Let's talk about a couple non-couponing items for the rest of this video, including new items that I found to snap some photos of, including this Peppa Pig, some sort of cartoon character, a um, dollar for this kid's mouthwash. So, you know, this might make a nice little thing to throw in an Easter basket, or is that too reasonable? It should be candy only. We have this cute little Shopkins um, toothbrush, super adorable, especially if you have like little girls. I just think it's so, so sweet. We also have this. I mean, this is a lot more bang for your buck. It is three Hello Kitty Firefly um, toothbrushes for a buck. So, I mean, each toothbrush is 33 cents. <laughs> so, you know, um, there's a blue one too. If your son might like that, you know, maybe something to pick up. And also in that aisle, I noticed um, some of the Wet n Wild lipsticks. Uh, these are $2.29 over at good old Walgreens and they are a dollar over here at um, the Dollar Tree. And these are the nicer lipsticks. Lots of beauty gurus rave about this specific one. Um, it's a really good quality lipstick. I have purchased it before in the past, never had any complaints. And now we have some Charmin Fresh Mates to go. That's quite the uh, mouthful for a <laughs> name of a product. Sometimes, you know, we might find coupons that have no size restriction. Um, you know, not a bad little item, especially if you're traveling. And now we have some Kleenex, Kleenex packs, uh, the three count for a dollar. So they're like 33 cents each. It's always nice to have these sort of things in your um, purse, especially with allergy seasons. Uh, my allergies are going already crazy right now. <laughs> and it isn't even really in the, in the depth of springtime. Um, and now we have a summer's eve. This is actually uh, the douche. It is not um, 
the medication. But I was really surprised to see this. Sometimes there's dollar off um, Summer's Eve uh, coupons. So this possibly could be another freebie. Now, when I was in my Dollar Tree, I noticed something really peculiar. I'm like, either I have gotten shorter or something's weird in this store. Because it seemed like the aisles were... There wasn't as much light coming from aisle one to aisle two. Like, you couldn't just peek over your head and see what else was there. And I looked at the walls and I'm like, oh, this is what they've done. They've added about, like, probably eight or nine inches of, like, room to block. So you can't see from aisle one to aisle two, which is kind of peculiar. Does your store have that, too? Because I'm like, why would they build these walls? Because I used to like being able to see, like, you know, if there was... um somebody being loud or weird in the other aisle like I'm one of these people I always like to look around at my surroundings but now these walls are these walls are for extra privacy or, or what is that all about but it, it was quite peculiar when I was in the store hey it's better for me if I'm doing filming and weird stuff or taking photos but it was kind of strange now this is absolutely fantastic it is an audio book on cd so you pop this into your car and the book will be read to you from an author for a dollar these usually go from anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars depending what the book is i have never seen this before at the um, dollar tree so if you really like like audiobooks but you don't want to pay for a subscription fee with either itunes or one of those services i mean for a buck i mean you can't buy any book for a dollar like an audiobook couple other books that I found. Um, nothing really piqued my interest. Sometimes I'll go into the Dollar Tree and buy like a lot of books to read. Um, I'm finding a lot of books that didn't sell at Target are ending up um, at the Dollar Tree, which is kind of interesting. And lots of, um, lots of books just not selling. So I just wondered like, hmm, it's for, for whatever reason at my Dollar Tree, there's always a huge stack of them. And then sometimes they go on clearance, like, you know, two for a buck, which is always nice to see. And some some newer titles, too. I mean, it's not the worst. Um, I really wish they would put some of these books, though, in hardbacks instead of paperbacks because it's easier for this old girl to read. Um, I had considered buying one of these, but it was in a paperback, so I said no. And then a whole bunch of kids' books, you know, for those Easter baskets. Um, Dollar Tree can really be your one stop to get, like, books and supplies to make the baskets because, you know, very affordable books for a dollar. Now, this is a nicer um, sponge. Kind of surprised to see it. It's a six-pack of these um, scrub buddies. They have an indentation in them. They used to sell something very similar over at the good old Dollar General. So, very happy to see these. Um, when I need to stock up, I will definitely be buying them. It's also a larger sponge. And then we have the Works. Now, if you have hard water at your house, uh, we have well water because we live out in the country, and sometimes cleaning those toilet bowls is quite the chore. And this stuff seems to really work to cut um, that like scaling and harder stuff. So this is not a bad, like these are quite large as well. So not a bad find. And then we have the Comet um, toilet bowl cleaner. I have never tried this, but um, certainly a lot of new um, Comet brand items are over at the good old Dollar Tree. I saw quite a few when I was in there on Tuesday. And these are two different types of um, like surface cleaner, whatever your fancy is. Um, you think about it, we can usually get these for very cheap or like 24 cents over at Meyer if you're a Midwest shopper. So like I wouldn't even pay a dollar for that. That's the new level of cheap that I'm in. And I know that Soldier Girl was hauling these a couple days ago. It's the Jimmy Dean sandwiches. I believe there's um, a coupon for them and she was getting them for 50 cents. Let me look up when that um, insert coupon was. So that was in the Retail Me Not 317. And um, I know that she was having a lot of success because she was buying a whole bunch of stuff. And it just says a dollar off when you buy two Jimmy Dean items. It's not size specific. So hopefully you'll have some luck with that and the coupons don't beep. I might actually try that to get a couple of these items to see if it'll work or not. This is something that my husband probably would really enjoy. He loves um, McDonald's sausage and McMuffins. Buying food from the Dollar Tree, yes or no, but it is like a manufacturer brand. It isn't like, you know, something that I've never heard of or seen of or something that I would buy for couponing Stacy to try on camera. But yeah, they have a whole bunch of stuff, including these um, pork turkey um, sausage links. I believe I have those coupons, so I might give it a whirl. Um, I did get shut down for those Airborns or whatever they are, but um, I might give this a whirl. And then my favorite... Um, we have the Pillsbury's Funfetti um, frosting, and they also have the really cute little cake mix. So if you are in an emergency and you have to make like, you know, cupcakes or whatever, sometimes it's always great to grab this stuff. If you buy it at Walmart, it could be the same price or a little less, but um, these are pretty sizable packages for the different um, 
cake or like um, cupcake mixes, depending what you want to buy. Now, when you're doing all your baking, you're obviously going to need some eggs. These are medium sized eggs. They're not the large size eggs, um, just to note that. But sometimes they actually have 18 eggs for a buck, which is kind of like a, a better find. So, you know, um, if you need them for a dollar. And then um, the Frigo cheese. This is not a bad type of cheese. And I was really happy to find it over at the Dollar Tree. I didn't buy any, but I'm just happy to see it. You know, if you ever need to make pizza or one stop shop for that. And some things are predictable back in my favorite aisle, the toilet paper aisle. This is very similar to that Unilever toilet spray. You're supposed to spray it before you uh, do your business in the toilet. And it's supposed to smell like a bouquet of lemon goodness for a dollar. If you consider the Unilever ones like close to eight dollars, this is like, you know, very cheap in comparison. So if it's something that you've wanted to try or you want it for guests who visit your home, you know, a great little thing to pick up. And the Charmin Extra Strong, just one big... Um, roll of toilet paper for um, some very strong business in the bathroom and then we have the puffs if you think about it if you go into any store and grab one of the puffs it'll be anywhere between 219 to a dollar 49 so paying a buck at the dollar tree i mean that's value right there no coupons needed and then we have the little sister to that um different companies but same product we have kleenex um so whichever one is your fancy um either puffs or kleenex um some people are really specific to that and then we have the sparkle single um paper towels and um obviously cheaper to buy it in bulk with coupons and magic over at the dollar general and then we also have the bounty essentials singles as well um yeah i guess they're both okay to um paper towels i prefer viva but i'm just like that's one of my things if you've ever scott and then the final thing, this is my absolute favorite. I always grab these when I go to the Dollar Tree. It is these pre-cut um, foil wraps. Um, if you are not good at measuring or if you're just like lazy, it's really great in the kitchen. Um, so you're not overusing your foil because sometimes I can go crazy and go through an entire thing of foil when I'm making like a lasagna. So I love this product. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.